Now we head to the Otero County Courthouse in Roswell, New Mexico, for the criminal trial of Michael Cox, Jr. Authorities say Cox molested a young child. The two were alone watching television. He was charged with criminal sexual contact of a minor under the age of 13. With the trial now concluded and Cox found guilty, Judge Jerry Ritter Jr. calls a bench conference with attorneys from both sides. As Deputy DA Scott Key, the man who just helped convict Cox, walks back to his seat, Cox unleashes his frustration. Cox lunges at Key, who makes a quick move before crashing into the podium. He takes a swing at Key as he hits the ground. Officer Katia Smith enters the courtroom just in time to witness the ruckus. She acts swiftly and attempts to restrain Cox. Key gets back on his feet and makes a run at Cox. But the melee only intensifies as a man from the gallery joins the fray. With his courtroom engulfed in chaos, Judge Ritter attempts to take control. He leaves the bench and orders the room to be immediately cleared. With the confrontation now over, Key pulls himself together. He takes a moment to fix a tear and then straightens up the area, even putting a trash can back in place while Cox is cuffed and led away. Order is finally restored. Michael Cox Jr. received 18 years for criminal sexual contact with a minor. And for his ill-advised attack on Key, the newly convicted felon picked up an additional six years for felony battery on a peace officer and misdemeanor aggravated battery. Both sentences will run consecutively. Thanks for being a fan of Court Cam. Subscribe to A&E to never miss a new video and catch full episodes on AETV.com.